Dead by Daylight's most evil killer strategy. A bold claim, but this one unironically drives survivors into insanity. We are talking about Infinite Chain Hunt Pinhead. 60 seconds after the box spawns or Pinhead solves it himself, a chain hunt starts. This strategy revolves about never letting it end. During the chain hunt, survivors cannot heal thanks to Sloppy Butcher or do gens efficiently because Hex Ruin keeps regressing them. It is also insanely hard to cleanse the totem during the chain hunt. To never let the chain hunt end, we need to know where the box spawns, which is luckily very predictable. The box chooses the spawn point the furthest away from every player in the match. Now, keeping track of the box and every survival position is not that simple, but the rest of our build makes that easy. Lethal Pursuer shows every survivor at the start of the game, and Barbecue and Chili makes survivors show us where the box actually is. And both of our add-ons help us interrupt survivors trying to solve it. But first, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Wanted Dead. Wanted Dead is a cyberpunk hack and slash game from the brand new publisher, Wanted Industries. The game's cyberpunk style draws heavy inspiration from the visionary aesthetics of the late 80s. The game has an amazing hack and slash gunfu combat system. The player is required to juggle between gruesome melee combat and range combat. Players have access to a wide variety of weapons on the battlefield to spice things up. And by the way, the developers have just rolled out the first patch for the PC versions of the game, elevating your gaming experience to new heights. Steam players, you're the first to experience the game changing update now. But don't worry, console players, your turn is just around the corner. Expect the patch to hit your platform in just three weeks. Right now, the game is available with a substantial 50% discount. This sale is active until January 4th on Steam. Wanted Dead is also available on Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and 5 and Epic Games Store. So don't hesitate, use my link in the description, get your copy now and plunge into exciting mayhem. All right, and this is... Someone got the box already. Oh, okay, okay. Well, this is starting off very nice. Yoichi grabbed the box and we are already on him. He's not getting chain hunted yet. But that will take a moment and then it's gonna start. I don't think he makes it back around, does he? Fast hit. Getting those sloppy stacks early on is very important. Is he gonna drop this? No, he wants to leave. Yeah. So, Rune is still up, and hopefully... The totem is right there. That's good. Alright, let's wait for him to run into it. Patience is always important with the power. And there we go. We know where everyone is. And now we wait a tiny moment... For them to start rotating, now they can see where the box is, and I would expect them to start rotating right now. There we go. Okay, uh, it looks like she's going for it. I would be surprised if she didn't. And where are you going? Looks like it is this tile. Yeah, there she is. All right, let's wait a tiny bit. Very nice. Chain her. And she's getting chained up because there's a chain hunt going on on this person specifically. Ooh, and there we go. Next one down. And the chain hunt, well, it is continuous. At this point, healing is uh, close to impossible because of Sloppy Butcher and Rune will make doing gens impossible. We're still at five gens. And at this rate, did Kate pick the box? No, she didn't. So I'm not entirely sure where it is right here. This would be a little bit of guesswork. He just came out of the basement. Just took it. It's over here. Ah, okay. So I think the survivors are slowly but surely catching on to what's going on. And I'm not interested in them. I'll go for you, Kate. You're already chained up. <laughs> now she doesn't make the main anymore. Perfect. So with those add-ons, I can pretty much cross-map everyone. It's already really impressive. They managed to do one gen through Ruin. The problem is now everyone is injured. I'm pretty sure there's distortion in play, by the way. I can't wait here. There's nothing... Oh, I found it. All right. So the box in this corner, I know that now. 
And these survivors cannot do anything. They cannot heal, they cannot do gens because of the chain hunt. I have a lot of time. I can hook this. No other boxes. Are they actually healing through the chains? So it is possible to do a heal if someone blocks. Most people don't know about that, though. Are they looking for it? No, they're not, right? They know what it is. I know what it is. I will not take it, though. I can just keep the chain hunt going. And I feel like the survivors are kind of getting demoralized at this point. Slowly but surely. It's trying to dodge. Oh my god, okay. Oh, you actually took it. He actually went to the inside and he went for the vault. Interesting. All right, let's put him on the hook. So there's no chain hunt now because there's only one survivor alive, which chops stops it. Yeah, I miss. But I'm pretty sure these survivors are done. It is pretty demoral uh, demoralizing. Yep, there we go. All right, uh, G to the Gs. Oh, these survivors are actually stacked. And there are three distortions on play. Now, this strategy does have some weaknesses. On smaller maps, barbecue and chili is less useful. Maps with odd shapes make the spawn harder to predict and survivors can fool the pinhead and make him go to the wrong corner. And this is exactly what this foreman group did. Oh, so it seems like they're splitting those two. Now, where exactly the box is, is hard to know. I think it's somewhere on the side though. Would be my guess. Cool. Two sloppy heads already. That's perfect. Look like anyone is taking it. And that's a co-op. That's good to know. That's sloppy head. So once the chain hunt starts, getting rid of that sloppy... Okay, I have a good idea where that is. That's good. Good shot. So we interrupted the box. Oh, we can see. Bro, it's a god pellet because of the snow fire. <laughs> oh my god, okay. He's going straight for the god vault. It's pretty smart by him. I need to vault after him. He's gonna waste my time here, but the chain hunt is about to start. Oh, that was such a great balance landing. Well played. Okay, let's turn him up. Oh, another train. There should be a guaranteed head if I'm not mistaken. Oh. He's giving me a run for run for my money, that's for sure. Doesn't nice. Could be it though. Oh he broke all the chains. Alright, nice. Okay, let's look at everyone. One, two, three, four. They're in every corner. Okay. I think I need the help of barbecue here. Um, I'm not sure where it's going to spawn. Definitely not in my corner. I know that much. Oh, this guy's sticking his gen. Where are you going? Uh huh. Found it, didn't we? So they did two gens, which is okay, but now uh, we have a lot of people injured. Now we kind of got going and it's going to be a lot harder for them to continue their pace. And this strategy doesn't really revolve around me abusing solo queue. If I do it properly and I use my game sense to my full advantage, uh, then I should be able to keep this going all the way. At the same time, uh, these survivors could also fool me. That is a thing that could happen. The cube over here. It is right. Why would everyone be here if it wouldn't be? 
Looks like it isn't though. Okay. Uh, I mean, you guys have to save too. Ooh. Okay, they kind of fooled me. They all ran into this corner. I think they understand the assignment now. And now it's going to be the question of who can do it better. And I cannot get that in time, sadly. But the droid has to trade this, no? Yeah, he does. Oh, that is a tiny bit sad. Low, low. You again. Ah, uh, droid stayed on the gen and Nia did the box. Uh, Nia got the unhook. This could easily be off the record. It isn't, though. Okay. okay. Back on the hook. She's not dead. So we can position ourselves for the next box spawn and kind of get a rough idea on where it could be. I guess that is not the end of the world if one of them doesn't hit. Oh, this cat is doing a John injured here. Ooh. Very nice. All right. So the cube is right there, but. Do we take it? Yeah, we should take it, actually. There are a lot of pellets in this area that I want to break. Ruin is still up, as of right now. I hope no one cleanses it before I get this box, which does not seem to be the case. The chain hunt continues. They healed a little bit, which will definitely be handy for them. Lonia? I think she got a little bit surprised. Now the box respawns. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can make this. Very nice. It spawned in the exit gate over there. I could have predicted that. With these add-ons, um, this should be an easy one. Good chain dodge. They are not giving me any free distance. Which kind of tells that these are actually good survivors. Yeah, she got the sun. That's not ideal for me at all. She cannot get that. She's low to too. It, speed boost is mostly gone now. Oh, that doesn't hit. Okay. Oh. Wait, does it continue? I just grabbed her. I think it does, right? Yes, it does. All right, the chain line continues. Ruin is still active. Kate struggling to do the gen. I wonder how much regression I got of Ruin out of this game. Probably some crazy value. She really wants that window. You get it? Yeah. Nice. The box right here. Oh, that is so good for me. Okay, she has balance landing too. Okay. I feel like everyone here has balance. Okay, the Nia's coming here. She wants to get the box. I know that for a fact. But this is the best position you can possibly be in as a pinhead. Where you know where the box is. And the survivors have to come and take it from you. Yeah. I think I'm going to hook that and let her solve it. The Dwight is busy. I know where the Kate is. I can just go for her here. Ruin is not a thing anymore, sadly. It has been disabled. No, that was a great dodge. Is this going to be balanced landing here? Ooh. Unlucky. Close. Yeah. Let's put Kate on the hook. This is kind of annoying. It do be blocking me. What? That doesn't hit. Damn. Yeah, there's about to be another chain hunt.
Pretty sure you're a death hug. He's taking the box. The Nia is about to finish the gen, though. Yeah. Spin him up. The Nia is on the gen upstairs. And it finishes. I'm pretty sure he's still exhausted. Means he cannot use his balance landing. Oh, he doesn't know. That has been disabled, dude. He doesn't walk anymore. Box logic really depends on how hard the survivors make it for the pinhead. During the few hours I recorded for this, I got called a cheater twice. In the majority of the games, the survivors literally never managed to get any progress on any gens and gave up after a few minutes of chain hunt. So, this is a bit of a bigger map. It will change their dynamics a bit and I only see two survivors, which means there's some distortion in play, which make it, which makes it a little bit harder, but not impossible. Oh, we found the box already. I kind of predicted this. They probably spawn on the other side. I spawn over here. We see all four, which means there is no comes burden play. And there's a high likelihood the box is going to spawn in my spawn. Ruin this up right now. Okay, you're kind of like going there very aggressively. Interesting. Oh, no. Ooh, Steve got it. Hello, hello. Yeah, I want to continue the chain hunt. I'm going to slug her. Nice. Let's not get him that. What are we cooking right now? Looks like we are con uh, we are protecting the Stevie. Okay, I think these survivors, uh, they play together. Looks like a little bit of altruism going on. This should be a fast set though, and Sloppy Butcher is also in play. Very nice. It's gonna make a break for it. The chain hunt is gonna make it hard for him. Alright, cool. He makes that. Does he drop? Yes. Okay. He's uh, getting some snowballs. Uh, I think the cube is going to spawn behind me, but let's go get away from it to make it more likely. Let's probably buy that gen. Let's see if uh, survivors go through it. We can verify with barbecue and chili. No. Distortion is in play, sadly. Makes it hard, which also means there will probably be no scratch marks. No, no. They're certainly gravitating towards that place. Yep, yeah, there's a certainly here. Okay. Megan shows an interesting spot to get rid of it. Was it actually in the main? Okay. I might have been a tiny bit wrong about that one. Um, but we can... Still make sure this is not where it ends. Okay, let's down Mac. One, two, three. Okay, everyone is on this side. And if I go here, I can pretty much ensure that it's gonna spawn on this side. Unless they move drastically, which they probably don't. Let's see. It's your time. Dude, I think every single gen in this game is zero, by the way, right now. Have you been playing this for five minutes? That's absolutely crazy. So the survivors were literally unable to progress anything for the first five minutes of the game. And they even have distortion, which arguably makes it a little bit harder. Um, but barbecue and chili is not a necessity to do this. You can, in theory, do it with nothing. But <laughs> they're following me. Yes. 
With my add-ons, I can easily get that. My drone gone. I don't think we need it anymore. Mac is down. Another chain hunt starts. We have time to hook her? This is greedy. They could solve the box here. I'm just going to take this trade. What are we doing? I think the survivors are giving up. Um, they played for seven minutes and they got zero gem pros. I'm going to let us off the cube and just put them out of the misery. The box logic incredibly strong um, and potent, uh, but it needs a lot of, a lot, a lot of game sense to execute properly. And survivors can also counter it. Not uncounterable. All right. There you go, Megan. You can have it. Hello. I tortured them enough, might as well give one hatch.